What is going on guys? As always, this is the Walkthrough King, and here is the promised gameplay of the three remainder weapons that were added into the black market today. For those of you who didn't see my previous video, today there were five new weapons added to the black market. I have gameplay of two of them, the new sniper, the DBSR-50, as well as the Peacekeeper Mark II that they added in. I'll have a link in the description for that video if you'd want to check that out. But let's get right into it. Here is the new LMG that they added. This is the A70 Ajax. And this is another one of those gimmick weapons. And what I mean by that is it it's really different compared to every weapon that we have in the game. So basically this weapon has unlimited ammo. It prints its own ammo. So as you run out of ammo, if you just go and hide and wait, then it will generate new ammo over time and get back to the max that it can have, and that is 50. If you fully run out of ammo, it has a little bit of a recharge time. It's nothing at all, really, and then it starts generating ammo again. Basically, if you run out of ammo completely from 0 to 50 for creating new ammo, it takes about 15 seconds to make all that. And another weird thing about this weapon is it does not work with Scavenger. So there is no like, if you run low on ammo, you can't quickly run over and use Scavenger to try and get more ammo. You do have to go and hide and wait for your ammo to regenerate. So that's why I say it's one of those real gimmicky type weapons because this weapon isn't going to be best in all situations. So if you run low on ammo, you're going to be pretty much screwed if there's a group of guys coming after you. This weapon does remind me of the Dingo though, like with the way it shoots and the time to kill. I can't really see this weapon being added to zombies as they have been adding in most of the new weapons that they've been including in the game. Just because if they added this into zombies, it would be way too overpowered having the unlimited ammo. Unless they added in like a reload clip, then they would end up having to redo animations on the weapons and I just don't see it being added into zombies. This weapon is a really interesting weapon to use though when I use it in the private match and it will be interesting to see it in a live game if I could get it out of the market. For every weapon that I do get out of the market though I will be trying to do a small road to dark matter on that weapon as I do already have dark matter so it's just down to getting the new supply drop weapons and then doing this series. So here's a little quick gameplay clip of the one of the new melee weapons, the Enforcer. Here's the animation I'm going to start off with. The animation is nothing special at all for this weapon. Although I do kind of like the kill sounds and the little electricity effect that goes around the player if they uh, get killed by this weapon. But yeah, that animation was just nothing at all. Like he doesn't move the weapon really at all and he just moves his fingers and waves it. Uh, it's kind of stupid, I think, compared to the other weapons that have really good animations. But yeah, there's really nothing much to say about this. It's just your average melee weapon and the same stats as everything else. And it is uh, one of the more interesting weapons with the kills. Just because of that electricity effect as you are seeing. And finally, we have here the last of the new weapons, and it is the Nunchucks melee weapon. The animation you are seeing here is really, really cool for this. I do like this animation. It is up there with my favorite animation, and that's the Butterfly Knife. And this is competing with that uh, Butterfly Knife animation, in my opinion, for my favorites. And this weapon is pretty cool. It is the same old as any other weapon variant for the melee weapons, but it is one of the more interesting ones again. Killing the player is nothing special really, you got your like hit sound and that's pretty much it. There's no special effects or anything else with this melee weapon. That's pretty much it for this video though, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay of all the new black market weapons. It does suck that they are behind the black market, but I mean what can we do? Anyways, this has been the Walkthrough King and I hope to see you in the next one.